Dozens of arrests made after soccer fans stormed Hard Rock Stadium hoping to watch the Copa America final. Video showing a large crowd pushing their way through the gates and some even tried climbing through the vents. And as you can imagine, there were some major security concerns and now many are wondering how all of this could have even happened in the first place. Local 10's Leanne Marjon is joining us live. She's outside Hard Rock Stadium now with hopefully some answers to that question, Leanne. Yeah, I spoke to George Kalina and David Magnuson. They are the former police chiefs at the city of Miami and El Portal, respectively. They tell me that while they respect the job of officers who were on scene, they say that they did the best they could with what they had. They also say that there were some serious lapses in security and say an after action review is crucial. It's not to be overly critical, but there were failures and they need to figure out why. Former police chiefs giving us their frank assessments of security at Sunday night's Copa America final at Hard Rock Stadium. It was certainly a failure, a security failure. Scenes of lawlessness and chaos like these prompting a hard look at plans ahead of the match and what was done to respond to the melee. According to a statement by Hard Rock Stadium, they worked with CONMEBOL, CONCACAF, and local police. They say stadium gates were strategically open and closed to let in ticketed fans. The match was postponed from its planned 8 p.m. start time, but a decision was made minutes later to open the gates regardless of tickets with no mention of any security checks. And that becomes secondary, right? The Maybe someone didn't have a ticket. If they're thinking that people's safety and health, well-being is potentially at risk, that becomes the most important thing. If you're worrying about the immediacy of a stampede, well, yeah, yeah and you, you, you do what you have to do so people don't get hurt because that it's immediate. I don't know how many people got through without being checked, but it only takes one person with a sharp instrument, with a handgun. Miami-Dade's mayor says in the end, more than 800 officers ended up there. Compared to just over 300 for the Super Bowl. This event prompting some hard lessons ahead of the 2026 World Cup. As bad as this looked and as embarrassing as it was for South Florida, no one was seriously harmed and, and that's like a bonus for them. That may not be the case next time. Luck seemed to have played a good part and it didn't get worse yesterday, but, but luck is not a strategy and it certainly is not sustainable. Both Colina and Magnuson have extensive experience working events such as these and with security. They are, of course, commenting as outsiders who were not directly involved in the planning for this particular event. Miami-Dade police telling us there were 27 arrests, 55 ejections, and that they will be reviewing all protocols to make sure that this never happens again. Reporting live outside Rock, uh, Hard Rock Stadium, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.